Let's see how we have a simple interest. You have a concept here. As I told, simple interest is a fixed rate of interest. You have a fixed rate of interest maybe for a period. Yes. Principal and interest remain constant. Throughout the period, principal and interest remain the constant. At the end of first year, second year, third year, fourth year, the principal remains the original amount that you borrowed and the interest amount also remains the same and the concept of interest on interest does not arise in this case. So let's see what are the uh, various types of uh, quantities that are involved while calculating. The most important thing over here is the interest which is PRT which is going to be the principal so suppose the principal is 1000, R is going to be 10%, either you write it as 10% into the period say 3 years or you can even write it as 1000, you can convert this to decimal 0 0.1 into 3. So this gives you the interest. So this is how you use it. So in this case for example it's going to be 300 and the amount is going to be principal plus the interest which is 1000 say plus 300 which is 1000. 300 is the interest as we see in this particular case. So this for these formulae are what we're going to keep using again and again. So as I said, we have the principal P, you have the time T, which is the period in years. Sometimes the period could also be given in months. Then you have to divide it. Suppose you say three months, so you say three by twelve. Then rate of interest, which is the rate in terms of percentage, interest amount itself, which is PRT and the amount which is obtained by adding the interest to the principal. So these concepts are involved in simple interest. Um, now at this particular point, at this juncture, there is something very, very important which I would like to touch upon. Now there are two concepts involved. One is I is equal to PRT. Now we know I is equal to PRT. We will come across very ca many cases wherein the principal would be known, interest would be known, time would be known and you may have to calculate the rate. Or you may be given principal, time and rate, you may have to calculate the interest, that is standard uh, concept. The other concept could be there is any one of these variables could be unknown. Interest could be known, principal could be known, rate could be known and you may have to find the time in years. So these concepts could be involved or they may also give questions based on two separate principles, two separate rates and the same period and the difference in simple interest is so and so questions based on that. So eventually it's about combination of the formula and forming equations. Another very important thing is that the rate is normally given per annum, say per annum and the time is normally given in years. So suppose they say uh, that the rate is 8% per annum, okay, it's per annum and calculate the simple interest for 4 months. Now, when you convert it to 4 months, you have to use the formula, whatever is the principal, say 1000 rupees, suppose it is. So, it's going to be P, which is 1000 and into R, which is going to be 8%, which is 0 0.08. Now, here you're not going to take it as 4 because it's the rate per annum into 4, since it's in months, you have to convert it to years, so it's going to be 4 by 12. So everything is, so this is giving you annual interest. Yes, on the contrary, if they say calculate the interest for 6 months, in that case, you can do this and then divide it by 2 to give you the interest accordingly. So this is now you're going to give you the annual interest so, so this is sorry going to give you the interest for this won't be the annual interest this will give you the interest for four months if you want the annual interest accordingly you have to multiply by three or something that will give you the interest for the entire year so this will give you the interest for four months much the same way there may be stray cases wherein the interest might be given that interest for six months is so and so in that case, you will have to double it. Suppose the interest for 6 months, simple interest for 6 months has been given as 5%. Then for year, per year, you have to take it as 
10%. Because for 6 months it has been given as 5%. So for 12 months it's going to be twice. That is, 10% uh, has to be changed. So students have to take care regarding especially conversion with respect to. Always read the question. The rate is going to be per annum. So the period has been given. You have to convert the period to years. So that if it's 4 months, you're not going to leave it as 4 months. You're going to take it as 4 upon 12 so that it gets converted to years. So this is how we can, certain points which you need to take care. Now having known this, now furthermore, how we can move ahead, how can we apply this particular formula as what our full exercise is going to be about.